to my Halloween mini class. I have a cute little class that I've put together using the Scary Cute bundle. And let's dive in and look at these projects and then I will be making this cute little box. We're gonna decorate it. Um, I have this in two other colors that we're gonna make here at the end of the video. So the product that I'm using today is the black and white designer paper. This is from the fall winter catalog. I originally thought this was in six by six, so I was pleasantly surprised when I got it and it was 12 by 12. They're great designs. They're white and black, and then there's like this very crisp white patterns on one side, and then you flip it over, and then it's a little bit darker on the other side. So I love that. So we're gonna use this paper. I'm going to be using this bundle here, which is the Scary Cute bundle, and it is a stamp set, and then the dies, and there's some really great images in here. And then we're gonna make a project using the tags from this die set. This is the Celebrate with Tags, and we're gonna take this die, and we're gonna make this cute little box. I have a project sheet for you, so stay tuned. We're gonna make three of these in just one minute. So let me show you what the mini class includes several projects here. I'm going to save this um, layout till the end. The first thing that we're going to look at are the cards. I made a boo-boo on one of these cards. I want to show you um, how I'm going to fix that during the class. So the mini class includes a set of cards. So you will get to make two each of these, of these cards. So when you get the card kit, there's enough supplies in there to make two of each of these cards. And so we have these two standard four by six or four by um, four and a quarter by five and a half A2 size cards. You get envelopes with your kit. And then we have this really cute four by four card. And look what I did. I totally stamped that boo upside down. I have the sticker on that stamp and it's upside down, but I thought that was funny. I'll fix that when we do our class, but these are the three cards. So you will be able to make um, two each of these. I love the way these came out. I loved using Blackberry Bliss. Uh, I don't use that very often on um, projects, and so it was fun to get those out. So I have the Blackberry Bliss card bases. Um, you will also get white, uh, basic white cardstock to go inside all of your cards along with envelopes. So the class includes a quarter pack of the designer paper. So you will get a quarter pack, six by six. You'll be able to make all of these cards, plus you'll have plenty left over. So you'll get a six by six um, quarter pack of the paper. And then you will also get the four washi tapes. So there are purple, green, black, and orange washi tape. I liked this washi tape, even though it's glitter, I found that it was really easy to use. Some glitter washi tapes, it's like the stickiness, it doesn't stick well. These were great and I loved using them. And then you will get all the pieces to make the cards. And then you will also get a colorful PDF with all the projects that you're going to see. And then as well, you will get a recorded video of me putting these cards cards together old school start to finish. The bonus project that I have for this class is this layout. This is a scrapbooking layout. And what I'm going to do in the class is make the other side of this layout. And then you will also get this die included. This is from an old Stampin' Up! die. It says Wicked. And then I also used a retiring die that had the um, little spider web on it so you will get the spider web and then you will also get wicked if so that way if you want to put together your own scrapbook layout you totally can do that and then in the class i will be making the other half of this so this will end up being a double-sided 12 by 12 layout because you will see the other side and it will have all of the measurements for that there are two options for this class if you would like to get the bundle from an, another demonstrator, or maybe you already have the bundle and you just want the card kit and the digital items for the class, you can do option one. It is $30. You get the card kits, enough to make two of each card. You get the paper, the designer paper, the washi tape, and then you will get the 
colorful PDF along with the pre-recorded video that has the scrapbook page bonus. The PDF will include measurements for the scrapbook page as well. That's just a bonus. Option two is to get the bundle. So you will get this bundle with um, all of the other items and that cost is $65.25 and it comes with a stamp set and the die. So here's one I already have put together. There is going to be a free PDF on how to make this little box in the description below. So even if you don't do the mini class and you want um, the instructions on how to make this box, um, that will be below and there is photos and then tips on how to do this. It took me a little bit to figure out how to get this put together properly. Um, I do not remember who was the original. This was not my original idea. Um, I saw it online. The inst original instructions were really hard to follow. And so I created the PDF once I knew how to do this. This is like the third one that I did and I finally got it. Um, and so I did a PDF for you with the instructions on how to create this um, in case you want to make it. So what I have here is I have um, two more colors. I want to decorate three of these. And what you're first going to do is cut the tag using the Celebrate uh, with Tags dies. So I used the scallop tag here. Okay, so then I cut three of them um, to begin with. So you just cut it with your cardstock, all right? And then the next one you're going to cut is going to be this here. Now this is going to be one and a half inches. All right, editing Tina here to pop in this photo so that you can see the proper measurements. Um, when I was filming, I made a slight mistake. So you're going to first uh, cut the strip and the strip itself is one and a half inches by six and three quarters. That's that long strip right there. And then on each side of that long strip, you're going to score it at a quarter inch. That is where the black lines are. And then you're going to, on the shorter end, you're going to put that in your trimmer and score it at two and a quarter. And then all I did was flip it and score it at two and a quarter again, which is the gray lines. If you're like me and you struggle a little bit with these kinds of things, um, there is a PDF that you can look at um, down below. All right, so after you uh, cut it and score it correctly <laughs> um, with those correct measurements, what you're going to do is notch out, um, right here I'm showing you, you notch out the middle and then you're going to fold up those edges right there. And I score it so that they're nice and tight. Um, so I'm just gonna grab my bone folder and score that. And then in the middle part right there where those flaps are, you'll see in just a second, I'm gonna cut those off. So those middle flaps right there, you're gonna go ahead and trim off. That is the bottom of the box. So go ahead and trim those off. And then what I do is in each of the corners, you don't have to do this, but I just feel like when it goes together, it looks a little bit more put together and doesn't add as much um, to the bottom of your box. I just, from the corner there, I cut in diagonal. So on each of those, you see I just notch out a little triangle right there and then you'll fold on the fold lines and that is the sides of your box and then this folds up and this folds up so now this is what you have so you're going to put this in your trimmer and you're going to line up this so here's the score line right here where your tag would be you're gonna line this score line up with a quarter inch on your trimmer so that quarter inch line, and this has to be pretty exact. And then you're gonna score it. I just use my bone folder to score it. And the score line is gonna fall right below that, that hole right there for the tag. So it's gonna be right under that. So again, then you're gonna flip it over, line that score line up with the quarter inch mark. And then score. 
Okay, I'm back, and you can see my cardstock is a different color. The orange one, I messed up on my score lines. So the measurements I gave you are right, and they will be on the screen previously and in the PDF, but I had to scrap the orange one and move to my purple one because I scored it wrong. Again, I am not great at these 3D projects. I love them, but I just am not great at them. Okay, so this part, if it's right here on the bottom, okay, so that's the next step, is you're gonna glue the bottom down. You can use tear and tape. Um, that is, will be really sturdy. Um, I'm using liquid glue for the sake of the video. And then um, these strips here, are a bit thin, which you could adjust the measurements and make them thicker if you wanted. I am not good at, at these projects to begin with, so I certainly didn't want to adjust any of the measurements. So I found if you just do one side at a time, then you can press those down and then make sure to press um, this part, the edges down to make sure it's flat on your bottom. So just press those together. If you're using liquid glue, it'll take just a minute for everything to um, attach and then do glue on the next side. And then again, see I just push that down. Once I get the edges in, then I push it down to the bottom. And then just hold it for a second. I think I need a little bit more glue up here. So isn't that so cute? So the next thing I have is just the front and back pieces. This is just two by two is gonna work probably fine. could have done a full inch with the designer paper for the sides but that's okay again all of the measurements for all of this will be on the PDF that you can get in the description below and then let's do a little stamping for our little guy and maybe let's just use one of our die cuts. Oh, and I smeared it. Look, that ink wasn't dry. Oh, that's a bummer. I smeared it a little bit. The fun thing is, is that these washi tapes, all four of them, fit right in this little tree box. <laughs> I think that's how I'm going to store my washi here on my desk while I'm using it right now. So here's this one. And then let me show you the green one I decorated. That I did. I just added a little bit of this ribbon here and then I stamped on a circle die and it says say boo and scare on and I stamped that in Blackberry Bliss and then this is the way this pattern paper looks on this and you could put any tree in there you wanted. You could put a little bit of candy. I love that the washi tape fits in there. I think that's super cute. So these are the way these both turned out. And again, if you want to make this tree box, the tutorial, the PDF tutorial that you can print out is in the description below. It has photos of each step and then it has the instructions and all of the measurements for you so that hopefully it'll be easy for you to put together. So let me share about the class one more time, everything that you get.
All right, I would love for you to join me for my Halloween mini class. For this mini class, you will get enough card kits to make six of these cards. So two each of each of these cards. This is a four by four card. It will fit in a standard A2 size envelopes. You get envelopes for your card kits and then all of the pieces to create the cards. For the scrapbook page and the class as a bonus, I will be making the other half of this and you'll get measurements for this, but you won't get any of the pieces to make this page. However, you will get the Wicked die right here, the die cut. I will die cut that along with this. So in your kit, you'll get these two extra dies in case you want to make the scrapbook page and you just use your own supplies to do so. You'll have those or you could use those on a card as well. If you wanted, you'll have plenty of um, product to make more cards if you want. And then as another bonus, I am going to provide one of the tags in your kit. So I will cut the tag so that if you would like to create one of these little boxes, then you can do that because you'll have the tag. So if you want the card kit without the stamp set, maybe you already have the stamp set or you want to purchase that separate from another demonstrator, um, the card kit with the cards, the envelopes, and all of the die cuts. And then you will also get the designer paper and the washi tape which is right here so you'll get the paper the washi tape and then the card kits that is gonna be $30 if you would like the stamp set the scary cute bundle so the dies and the stamp that is gonna be $65.25 and both of those links are in the description below or over on my website or in the email you received about this class the PDF for this box is free and it is included in the blog post the email and in the description below you don't have to have the class to get the PDF on how to make this box. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this video today. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I look forward to crafting with you again later this week. Thank you so much for watching my video. Here on the screen are two other videos that I would love for you to check out. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so that you know when I upload any of my videos. And down in the YouTube description, of course, are the links that you will be able to sign up for this mini class. I appreciate you watching my video and I will catch you in my next project.